So let's do a brief uh, discussion of how to find the direction of an electrical force. So we can find the magnitude using Coulomb. So the force uh, magnitude is going to be equal to K times magnitude of charge 1 times magnitude of charge 2 divided by their separation squared. And that's only going to give us the magnitude, how big this force is. If I want to know the direction, I have to look at the signs of the forces. We have the old adage, opposites are going to attract. So we can use this to figure out what direction the forces are going to go. If opposites attract, then likes are going to do the opposite, and likes are going to repel. So we remember this to figure out what direction the force goes uh, after we use Coulomb's law to find the magnitude. So if I look at these two charges uh, in the first line, charge 1 is negative, charge 2 is positive. I can calculate how big the force between the two is by using Coulomb's law. I can find the direction by looking at the signs of the charges. So let's say I want to know the direction that force uh, charge 2 is going to have on charge number 1. So I denote this with little subscripts, the force of charge 2 on charge 1. That means I want to know where is charge 1 going to go due to charge number 2. So I can, I can write this, I can denote this, uh, and figure out the direction it's going to go by looking at the signs of these two charges. So force of charge 2 on charge 1. Where is this charge number 1 going to go because of charge number 2? Because the signs are opposite, the force is going to be attractive because opposites attract. So charge 1 is going to go towards charge 2. So this means that the force of charge 2 on charge 1 is uh, customarily we use to the right as being positive, so that would customarily be positive. Now conversely, if I want to know the force of charge 1 on charge 2, I want to know where is charge 2 going to go because of charge number 1. It's also going to be attractive, so force um, this second charge is going to move towards the first charge, but now I'm going to the left, so the force of 1 on 2 is going to be negative. So this goes back to physics 1, where we have Newton's third law, every force has an equal and opposite force. So we can do this for all sorts of, uh, any force that we want, any pair of charges. So we have two more examples down here. If I want to know the force of charge 2 on charge 1, I want to look at where charge 1 is going to go because of charge number 2. Now these two charges have the like sign, and we know like charges repel. So the force of 2 on 1 because of that second charge over here, because of charge number two, charge one is going to be pushed away. So force of charge two on charge one is going to end up being negative in this case. And then same reasoning, force of charge one on charge two. Because charge one has the same sign as charge two, charge two is going to be pushed away. So force of one on two is going to the right, and that's going to be kind of a positive force. We can do this with positive charges. We can do this with any combination of charges. Charge force of charge 2 on charge 1. Now for charge uh, 2 is positive. Charge 1 is also positive. They have likes, like charges. It's the same sign, so they're going to repel. So charge 1 is going to go away from charge number 2. So force of 2 on 1, that would end up being uh, a, a negative charge uh, direction for that force. And then we can do the same thing, force of charge 1 on charge 2. So charge number 1 is going to be pushing on charge number 2. So charge number 2 is going to go uh, to the right and that would customarily be considered positive. So that's how you figure out the directions of forces. These are just a few examples. Uh, the actual answer you get will depend on the problem itself. So you can't just memorize what direction things are going to go. You have to look at the physics and whether they're opposites that are attracting, likes that are repelling, and if your charge distribution ends up giving you um, uh, which charge you're actually calculating on. Uh, so you could have the force going to the right, in which case it would be positive, you could have the force going to uh, the left, in which case that would customarily be a negative force.